What is your name and how do you contribute to this work? I am Shakia Shanique Norris, big booty girl from the Bronx living in the bricks, and I'm lyrically known as Purple Hills. Uh, my contribution to this jam, <laughs> the world, uh, through adventures in being me, is really connecting people, places, things, and ideas. So we uh, discover, come to and from one oneness. I believe oneness is the, the manifestation experience of love. We all love each other, we don't know it. We find out. Where do you live? What's your block? If you have a set, what set do you claim? Ooh! So I live in Newark, New Jersey, uh, which I call the Brick City. Uh, that works and doesn't work for some, so I, I must say that. Uh, and a set, um, MC for Life. Hip-hop. Hip-hop is my set. You know what I mean? So that's not one form of expression. And I'm, um, I'm one who uses lyrics. You know? So I'm representing that as part of my set. Uh, and so when I say block, what area? I live in the gentrified area of downtown Newark. Got it. I, too, live in the gentrified area of downtown Newark. Yeah. Um, where are you from? I'm from the Bronx, New York. You said that. Yes, I'm Tell also from. Tell me more from, about that. Well, I gotta also say I'm from. I'm from the Bronx to Brick City because that was important, where I, I really understood the Bronx once I left it. And uh, as a graduate of Johnson C. Smith University in Charlotte, North Carolina, that always feels like home. Um, and so it was returning to Newark is where I finally discovered where I'm at, right? Um, and, I know that's a, a, a hip-hop line I always love. It's not where you're from, it's where you're at. I'm a New Yorker, so it's always where we're from, right? <laughs> well, why it's so significant? Um, I live in a uh, Puerto Rican block. I'm from Kingsbridge. People don't know that section of the Bronx. They know Fordham. And I'm from right next to Fordham Road section. And it's so dope. It's a transition neighborhood. I feel like I've always lived in transition neighborhoods. Um, even the color purple is red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Um, so it's something about midlines that I get sometimes. Um, and I really do think that's from my neighborhood. Um, my family's from the South Bronx, which is really important because I spent most of my time there. And um, my mom's is from Queens, and I spent um, Sundays, weekends, Sunday dinners at the church and everything there. Um, but the Bronx is, is important because when people from say they're from New York City, um, that's not the part people smile and love. And uh, like people from Brooklyn, people go, oh yeah, you know, Brooklyn's trendy now and all that. When we say we're from the Bronx, I notice people's reaction is similar to what people experience when they're from Newark. Uh, which is probably why I love this town and I, I was always able to rest easy here. Um, the Bronx is really populated where I'm from. My block in the Bronx is 195th Street and Decatur Avenue. Um, and up the block, up the block, on the way to the, whether it be the Chinese store, the train station, or the supermarket, um, I literally smelled all flavors from every continent in the world. Because mm. everybody on that next block, on Marion, they each was from a different country. So that that's one part of the Bronx experience for me. Also, when I press my head up against my window to play with my best friend, which was the sky, um, <laughs> I could see Fordham University. So I could hear the sounds on my block, and that being the, um, the, uh, the little boogie, uh, uh, the little cars, I forget what they call right now, so it's my mind. People had their horns program. <laughs> and um, you know the punch cars, right? And so that sounds, uh, uh, definitely a lot of uh, bullet, you know, bullet sounds, which helped me rhythmically. How I became a, 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 a ill lyricist because I know the sound of rhythm through any of those sounds, and um, so you can hear that through the right ear, and you can hear the kids at Fordham University on the other side laughing, going to parties. You can see this cut, cut, beautiful grass with this gate, and what people don't know is that same gate that Fordham University has is shared with the Botanical Gardens in the Bronx, too. and. My father, fortunately, um, loved the outdoors, and so I went to every park there is in the Bronx. I'm a New York City kid. I grew up in every borough. I'm, I'm, I'm called hood privilege, is what I call myself. Um, 